Hey, old boar here. This is a tutorial video on Skive. You can click Skive when your game opens, or you can click the icon on your desktop. This is the dashboard of Skive, but first, what is Skive? Skive replaces the loading order mod, which basically loads Harmony first and other mods in order so that your game runs more efficiently. And it also replaces compatibility report, which is here. It can allow you to do a lot of other things, and we're going to go over those briefly. First of all, in your dashboard, this first window has a basic display of what you've got going. The top icon here you can use to launch the game. This is the playset window. We currently have loaded the detailing with mods playset. It's got 47 mods and 1070 assets. The packages window shows you a list of all your assets and mods. All of these mods and assets are not enabled in my current game. So with this other actions button, you can select all the displayed items and you can also unsubscribe from them all and subscribe to them all. That's how you would switch between playsets to play a completely different game. If you want to keep all your assets from all your games on the computer, you can switch between those more quickly. If you want to unsubscribe to them all, you may have to wait up to a half an hour depending on your internet connection, etc. So if we go back to playsets, we're going to load the Amherst playset. Now if we look at packages, we see that all of my assets and mods are enabled. Packages is basically the set of assets and mods together. Assets are usually just the circle. Mods are a circle and a square. This allows you to exclude the mod from your game. This enables or disables the mod, but you don't want to do any of this while your game is running. You can switch to a compact view, or the normal view, or a grid view. So let's go to mods. These are all the mods that I have enabled and subscribed to a great thing about the mod is that it shows you when you have a warning, action required, caution, and sometimes you'll see a red one that's unsubscribed to this mod. I really like this mod, Hide Policy Icons, so I'm going to subscribe to it. Come back to Skive, refresh your screen. The original Hide Policy Icons has a red warning. If you click on this warning here, it'll tell you which mod you need to switch to. You can switch to the mod here. This is Toggle It. And if you switch to the mod, down at the bottom, you'll see that you have one pending subscription. You can apply to it here. Or, you can go to this mod, go to this icon here, view the package on Steam, go to Steam and subscribe to the mod here. This is usually how I like to do that. Back in the mods view, we can cancel this. So let's look at a warning. This is Ambient Sounds Tuner, which changes the sounds in your game. This package causes issues. It's depreciated and no longer supported by the author. You might get away with running some of these mods. There's nothing terribly wrong with them but you'll have to test those out inside your own game. Camera Movement Mod has a warning. There's not enough information to properly review the package. It's depreciated. Sometimes you'll see a caution. There's nothing really wrong with those mods, just that the author hasn't been active in a long time. You can also sort by name, file size, update time, subscribe time, author name, etc. I don't have City Skylines running right now. I can exclude or include this item from the playset and I can enable or disable it right here. 
81 tiles doesn't allow your editor button to show up in your screen. If we were to load City Skylines, you would see that our editor's button is now loading. This also tells you what playset that you're running in Sky, so that you don't have to open the interface if you don't want to. We're going to exit the game and go back to Sky. Let's take a look at one more warning. This is Bob, the tree and prop replacer. Here's the instructions that you should follow when you've got two mods loaded that have a compatibility issue. You need to remove the ruining function and hide it if you're going to use Bob. That has to be done in the content manager when your game is running. So this shows all my 58 mods, which I can include or disable. Let's go to the next pane, Assets. Remember not to have your game running when you unsubscribe to mods. You can also see your DLCs, which ones are enabled. You can also disable these inside of your current game. If I'm not going to put in an airport, I can exclude that from my game and not have to load all that content in my memory. You can also click here and show all the DLCs I have hotels and retreats, but I'm not actually using this. You can enable or disable your DLCs here. Now let's go down to utilities. This is where you find your loading screen mod report. The loading screen mod is an important mod because it loads textures that are shared between different assets. That saves on memory. So let's view and subscribe to missing assets. This opens up all your loading screen mod reports inside of the Skyv window. We're going to sort by date modified. This is the last time that I opened my Amherst game. We want to double click on that. These are the packages of assets that I'm actually missing in game. So if I click on the plus sign, you can see that I have two packages that are pending to subscribe to. I'm going to go ahead and hit reply. And now I'll click download. And if you have the game on Steam, you'll see this window come open. It needs to download it to your local hard drive. If we scroll down here, we can see that there's a 1930s barn lamp that's needed for one of the assets that I've subscribed to on the workshop. Sometimes your authors don't put those in there, but you can do that here. That's the advantage of using Skive, is you can see all your missing assets and get those taken care of. I'm just going to click this button here, subscribe to all the displayed assets. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, this could take a while. We have 16 items pending for subscription. So we're going to apply. And we have the little hourglass indicator here telling us that we need to wait for that to happen. So after you've done that action, if you have a few more that need to be subscribed to, just click the button and apply. And depending on the size of the asset, it may take a few minutes. So all of our missing assets are now subscribed to. Let's go down to compatibility report. This compatibility report is going to give you the different panes for your different kinds of warnings. You can also click the button up here, apply all available actions. So I'm just going to go to the Steam Workshop and I'm going to unsubscribe from this item. That tab is going to disappear and it takes us directly to Attention Required. And we have two mods here. You can also snooze these so that you don't see them. In game, I've already gone into Hide It to take care of that problem. 
Here are four warnings that we may need to look at. The KL residential props can cause issues in your game. If you have any issues in your game, you can come in here and go to the Steam Workshop and unsubscribe to it. These other two mods here are mods that I use. You can click here, look at the compatibility information and see if you really want to use that. Click the back button and you'll go back. We have six items with a caution. These are mods that I use all the time that I don't have any problems with. The four tabs are going to give you a priority of what you actually need to deal with. Let's take a closer look at utilities. You can also view and remove unused assets. If you've run your game for quite a while and you know the assets that you're going to be using, you can remove some of those and save some memory. This little bottom pane here says that you need to be careful. Reload all data, reset all snoozes, resetting the mod cache, clear cached items, clear steam cache. You can also load a steam collection by using this button here. Run a quick cleanup that deletes any packages you're not actually subscribed to on your computer as well as forcing the downloads of missing subscribed packages. Save your current game and session to a local folder before you do any of these major cleanups. Open logs is also a helpful pane. You can drop your log file here to see errors inside the log. Lastly, your options pane is where you can make major changes to the Skive interface and other things. I like to have this box checked, but it's unchecked by default. It starts the download or removal of any packages immediately after subscribing or unsubscribing. This also shows you exactly where your folders are for all of your assets and mods. You can also come in and change the color of the playset. You can add a thumbnail of the playset. You can view the playlist file on your computer. Here's a great thing about the playsets tab. You can discover playsets on the Steam Workshop. These are playsets that others who are using Skive have uploaded for you. And you can download these, look at them, subscribe to their mods, and play their games. So thanks for watching the old boar play City Skylines. Take care now.